The build begins with a bare aluminum engine block. They pick the 132 pound piece up with what looks like a giant steel claw. Guided across the room to the first station on the engine line. And lower the block onto a special stand. Then they rotate the engine 90 degrees and apply grease to the camshaft. The camshaft will spin inside a finished engine, opening and closing exhaust and intake valves to let air and fuel in and exhaust gases out. They very carefully slide the camshaft into the heart of the engine. Eight bolts hold the camshaft cover in place. They use the big steel claw a second time to pick up the engine and move it to a special cart or trolley. The trolley rides on tracks laid into the factory floor. Here, they bolt the engine to the trolley for safekeeping. The Viper's V10 then heads to the 23 remaining stations on the engine assembly line. It goes on the trolley, basically, that carries the engine around the line. The whole process is very labor intensive. At the next station, they carefully clean and polish the Viper's huge crankshaft. The crankshaft will convert the up and down motion of the Viper's 10 pistons into a circular motion. They position it above the bottom of the engine. Lower it into place. And then very carefully oil it by hand. Finally, they spin the crankshaft to make certain everything is perfect. The front engine cover continues the build. A special tool that almost looks like something from a science fiction movie swings into place. It tightens all the front cover bolts at one time. A more normal looking power wrench tightens the bolts on the front of the engine. Then, one mechanic uses an old-fashioned torque wrench to check all the bolts. A second mechanic uses a felt-tipped pen to mark each bolt after it's been tightened. The marks show the engine's ready for the next step in the build. The oil pickup tube. This will help lubricate the Viper's 10 massive pistons. I install the timing chain, the front cover, the damper, and the pulley, the pistons, oil pickup tube, and the uh, oil pan on the Viper engine. They then bolt a huge flywheel to the back of the engine. It will transfer the engine's power to the car's transmission and rear wheels. On average, they build nine engines a day. 